Okay, I hope uh, your previous view uh, deformer after adding view deformer you have already saved your scene. If you didn't save, you have to do the same thing what I have explained previous example. If you already save, just uh, try to replay and see that whether it's still moving or your scene is still work with the view handler there or we call view deformer. Amplitude zero point. Uh, Zero one four one and then uh, point seven five five offset we already given by the expression you can remember the edit expression see that the offset value given by the time <coughs> and the minimum radius is zero point one you just said last time I forgot to explain you can change you see that if you just hold just like this you can find here it's applied only here. <coughs> now we are going to use the same we select the entire entire group of jellyfish and uh, and you you make sure that you are still in the rigging menu set there and then uh, you just uh, after selecting from the entire group not half entire group and go to the same with the deform non linear you can find the squish and this one is a, a squish and a stretch you apply it after applying you can see the little bit a little bit uh, this one is in a side here see a little bit side we just need to bring into nearby here and uh, you can just simply translate in fish handler here or you can just go to the channel box here and change it remember that you already uh, uh, selected the fish handler and x value will be 0 then it came to middle here and the y you can just make a 1.586 okay, because I, I already selected that that's why it's, you can see it I already touched that it. it's not a magic number and you can see that you bit a move up there and make a big see the center down here and uh, you can go back to attribute editor again okay and uh, you can find the squish handler this lower bound see that when we control here and uh, high bound you can see that moving there and we need to set up a fit with this one and then we can make the lower bound a little bit a minus minus uh, about minus one in here and the upper high bound we can just make the 0 0.5 it's a fit to here and uh, <coughs> now you can see that uh, this this one you can find the factor here factor is the see the factor parameter is the deform this one and if we can set the factor parameter key setting key value but this time I'm going to use the expression there and I just uh, use the equal and uh, we can make the equal 0 0.25 and uh, multiply and you can make a parenthesis because uh, in here you make the sign value because uh, uh, squish is time function sine order here sine moving like a curve here sine order curve and uh, this time we use the time and uh, multiply by the by two and the uh, final we put the, this colon mark this is a uh, time is a double and sine value and then it is a zero point the sine wave zero point uh, two five plus and minus going to work and then you can just play it you can see that see it's just a stretching also moving according to that you can right click on here can you see it switch factor this is the equation that we give and then we can just a little bit set up uh, more uh, values like uh, the the expand to max expand to 0 0.7 Next expand we can make the 
now 0.5 we can set to uh, expand just by make a tool okay. and max uh, we can make it 0 0.78 okay. Enter. now you can fill it see that it's more stretchy there if you expand if you down it will not stretch that much you can you can use what you like your your purpose uh, make animation there now you can see this kind of uh, the, the animation is quite hard to make out of uh, sitting keyframes but we can use a simple expression with the nonlinear deformers okay save this file again and then we can go to the another effect twisting because the jellyfish is not just uh, waving and squishing and stretching but also it will twist them now you can see that this model no twist uh, see and uh, you go real jellyfish in the internet you can find youtube you can see that actually sometimes it's a bit of twisting while it is a uh, stretching and uh, waving okay we can go to the next sample you now this one save 